This is an air purifier that I bought a while back. It's been sitting here so long that the spiders have already made a home underneath. And more recently in the midst of this whole pandemic, I've been required to wear an N95 respirator for most of the time I'm working, especially outside. And that was a real eye opener for me because I realized how much particulate and dirt and debris and pollutants just this respirator picks up in the course of a day. That was a real eye opener for me. So I decided to pull out this air purification unit. This thing is supposed to filter not only particulate matter, but also VOCs, which is volatile organic compounds, acetone, paint thinner, and other fumes. I have a couple creative ideas to make its process visual. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, try to make it visual. This video was brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. Ridge has totally changed my life. Sleek, light, industrial, doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge in your back pocket. My bees even made it through the winter. This has seriously changed my whole pocket situation. Most people are still using wallets that were designed in the 60s, carrying around all sorts of stuff like old receipts, bars, dirty socks, multimeter, flashlights, brake pads, light bulbs, and all this other stuff that you think you need, but you really don't. And these are things that Ridge completely eliminates from the equation. And if you're worried about fitting a lot of credit cards in this thing, don't worry too much because this thing stretches like I've never seen anything or anyone stretch. I mean, holy cow, look at that. And if you still insist on fitting like a protein bar in there, not only fit your credit cards, but you could fit a protein bar in there too. Still tight. Check out the link in the description below. If you use my link, you get 10% off if you buy a Ridge wallet. And they really are really good wallets. I'm gonna be using this one as soon as I finish up this episode. Using my link really supports this channel. and allows me to, uh, yeah, just get paid so I can do crazier, more over-the-top, insane videos. Make sure you use that link. It's in the description below. You get 10% off of your order. And uh, yeah, that's it. The first thing I'm gonna do is open it up and show you what type of filters this has inside. It's a pretty simple design. This one is a HEPA filter. I know that because it has nice deep pleats. And the reason that they have deep narrow pleats is because this is a very, very fine media that filters out a lot of particulate. And they do those deep pleats to increase the surface area. And just like a, a oil filter in a car. So if you were to take this, break all those glue beads and lay this out flat, this would be a pretty big sheet of filter media. That's why they do that. And this unit not only uses the HEPA filter to filter out the very small sub-micron particles, I think down to 0.3 microns, but it also uses this air purification cartridge, which breaks down VOCs, uh, eliminates and filters fragrances, odors, mold, bacteria, viruses which is a big thing right now during this whole pandemic and that's exactly why i brought this thing out to do an episode on it so that's what's inside now let's see if it actually works this is my schlieren setup that's going to allow us to visualize the vocs and the fumes going into the air purification unit and hopefully not coming out my setup is not ideal simply because I couldn't find a large enough spherical mirror to make it look the way I wanted it to, but it's good enough to allow us to visualize the fumes. Then I'm gonna move on to the next little experiment I have where it's gonna filter out particulate matter. The first thing I'm going to try is acetone because this is very common. A lot of people use this to clean up just projects, grease. Uh, it's a nail polish remover which is very common. And uh, yeah, let's uh, see what happens. As you can see, my can has seen better days, but there's still some in there.
Next thing I want to try is gasoline. I've now turned the air purifier around to get the outlet, which is located right here, and it kind of shoots upward right in front of our Schlieren setup. That way we can see when I put the fumes in on this side to see if the fumes come out on the other side, which is the outlet. So here it goes. All right, let's take a look at the high-speed camera. With both of those scenarios, the air purifier ingested all of the fumes, but there was nothing coming out. Even with the high-speed footage, you couldn't see not even a little bit of fumes coming out of the outlet. And another thing I found really interesting is that with the gas fumes, normally when you open a can of gas, you just start smelling it right away. And with the gas fumes, we really couldn't smell any gas at all. And what I'm gonna do right now for comparison purposes, and I'm gonna remove these filters completely from this unit. And I'm gonna try one more time to put this in the back of the unit without filters and then see if we can see the fumes coming out of the outlet. Here we go. All right, let's take a look. Can definitely see the fumes coming out of the unit but that was not visual enough for me oh that's cool Let's put it on high. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, probably want to turn it off now. All right, well, let me grab this, get this out of here. This is why welding gloves are important. There we go. There you go, I let the whole thing burn out. The thing is still running. I still couldn't get flames to come out of the side which was the only other visual idea I can think of for the fumes. That being said, I'm gonna move on to the next experiment, which I'm really excited about. I'm gonna to try to get some ultra macro shots of the filter media doing its job and filtering out particulate, as well as uh, some extremely small particles, which are gonna be simulated germs. That is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. To do this next little test, where I want to get an ultra macro shot of the filter. This is the filter that removes all of the fumes and the VOCs, which is volatile organic compounds like thinner gasoline, stuff like that. There is kind of sort of a pre-filter here, which captures some of the particles. And then whatever makes it through this filter goes into the HEPA filter. This filter is down to 0.3 microns, which is very, very small. That's viruses, bacteria, mold spores, any of that is gonna get caught here before that clean air comes out of the back of the filter. I'm gonna throw the super ultra macro lens on this filter first, throw a few things in there, some simulated germs as well, and then see if they make it through this filter to the second filter and then go on to one more experiment and then that's it. <laughs> I got this stuff all over my hands. 
All right, now I got all the simulated germs sucked into the unit. Let me open it up and uh, see how far they made it. This is our first filter. Oof. Yeah, it's all over there. All that white stuff. Let's see our HEPA filter. Oh, I mean, it's all over here too. Look at that. Let's see if it made it into the HEPA filter. Couple little specks, little tiny specks. Can you see them right in there? Oh yeah, I can see them. Yeah, right in there. But very, very little. All right, that's it for that. Let's move on to the uh, actual debris. So now I'm gonna set up just this first filter. I'm gonna set this up just like this and get the ultra macro lens and the high speed camera. And then we're gonna just get some dust and drop it and see how it attaches. There's a couple of different mechanisms that filters use to work. One of them is just the actual filtration mechanism. Another one is a static charge that filters out even smaller particles. And I'm not gonna go too much into the science here, but I will leave a couple links in the description below for you to check out to get more information on how those different filter mechanisms work. Maybe we'll sweep the floor here and get some of the dust from the garage and then whoosh, throw it right in there. Nice fine dust. All right, here we go. Air purifier's on, Let's dump some dust. Wow. All right, so the Shrillian effect was lame. The fire didn't work, but I was reading and it says that this thing is able to filter out smoke odors. Like my ex neighbor's grandma, she smoked like a chimney. See smoke coming out of the windows. Basically this is supposed to filter that. So I had a really good idea. I have a whole bunch of biodiesel, which burns dirty as ever. I'm gonna burn some of that biodiesel right here, let it go directly into the unit, and that's gonna give us a clear visual demonstration of if this filter is actually working because it's gonna go in this side and come out this side. And if this thing actually works, it should go in dirty and come out clean. So let's see how that works. Biodiesel candle. And diesel is combustible, which means it will burn on a towel like this, but it won't burn on its own unless it's vaporized. But this should make a lot of nice black soot and smoke. All right, so at least I use this biodiesel for something. Let's light this up. True test of confidence. Let's see what it does. And it's obviously working because it's going in dirty, coming out clean. And it kind of smells like, I don't know, like a diesel truck, but there's no visible smoke. It's, I, I don't know, it's like really, like a real slight odor, but it's obviously working. Dirty on the way in and clean on the way out. All right, so that actually worked out pretty well. I mean, look at this thing, it's all burned up now. Looks like a toasted marshmallow. I found that a lot more visually entertaining than even that other Shrillian effect that I did earlier. And I'm gonna pull this filter out to take a look and see what it endured. I mean, this was like 20 smokers in a room for a day worth of smoke. As you can see, the filter clearly reflects that. Look at that. That's filthy, it's black. And it was so much smoke and so intense, it even filled up our HEPA filter. Look at that thing, holy cow. Wow, I mean, actually, it's kind of interesting to be able to see. <laughs> Imagine what that lady's thinking, passing by this garage 
just seeing smoke pouring out, fire going, filter and lights and cameras. She's probably like, what the heck is that? Anyway, so that being said, I'm gonna end this episode right here. I was going to do the uh, filter catching the particulate and the dust in slow motion with the ultra macro lenses, but I'm gonna leave that for another video entirely. I'm just gonna give that its own episode because uh, yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool. So that being said, I'm gonna end this right here. If you think of any other cool entertaining ideas that I can do with air filters or this unit for that matter, just let me know. Tell me in the comments below or leave me a message and that's about it. I'm gonna leave this here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time. At least I found a good use for this biodiesel I had left over. Biodiesel candle. Actually doesn't smell that bad either. Cut.